again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this Sunday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic, my friends? That Jesus Christ himself promises to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwelling welcome tonight let's give him a big hand <laughs> praise the lord thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah Glory be unto God. Good night, my friends in life. We will come across situations where all hope has failed. Is not so, my friends. Yes, situation might come. Maybe it's death tonight of a loved one. Maybe it's a report of cancer. Maybe it's unfaithfulness of a spouse. Maybe it's a child that is wayward tonight. Maybe it is a financial trouble that will Will come across our lives in various kinds of trouble will come across in our lives sometime or the other but how do we handle them what I want to talk to you about tonight in James chapter 5 verse 13 is anyone among you in trouble let them pray tonight so my friends so prayer is a resort that God has given us to handle our troubles yes my friends you see this passage from was 13 to 18 he speak about prayer yes one of whom is James writing to James is writing beloved to the Jewish believers in Jerusalem, yes, who has accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. And now since tonight, they have accepted Jesus Christ. They have faced persecution in Acts chapter 6, verse 7 tells us by the Apostle Paul, they were arrested. They were beaten and some of them were murdered and many Jews for the fear of the life they scattered outside Jerusalem they went into Galilee territory in the Gentile territory where they tried to settle themselves but then there are synagogues and Jews in the Gentile territory they were also persecuting them and not giving them jobs and not giving them salaries some of them were put to death and these people are Jewish believers are going through a tough trying situation in their lives that is why James chapter 1 talks of trials and if you're going through trials tonight no God measures God fix through trials he said you need to pre preserve don't fall into temptation when you go through trials have the word of God and towards the end of this chapter he is giving us the key for us to know how to face trials beloved persecution pain and trouble in our life and that's what uh, was we cut out in 18 chapter 5 yes says anyone among you in trouble let them pray is anyone happy let them sing songs tonight of praise is anyone among you sick let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ let's give them a have you done that uh, when you go through sickness? Uh, I recall God's people to pray. That is how God has given us uh, an option tonight uh, to pray for others uh, when they are sick. In verse 15, he tells us uh, the prayer offer in faith uh, will make the sick person well. Uh, the Lord will raise them up, uh, and if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Yes, my friends, therefore confess your sins uh, to each other and pray for each other 
so that ye may have the prayer of a righteous person is powerful with dunamis and effective in verse 17 he says he gives us an illustration elijah was a human being even as we are and he prayed honestly that it will not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years yes my friends he prayed and the heavens give rain and the earth produces crops now in this passage from 13 to 18 tonight every word every sentence talks about prayer yes beloved so the only resort tonight when do you not have enough strength in yourselves to move forward in life when you do not know what to do next the only way we can move forward beloved god has told us is to pray pray is the presence of god yes no study says that out of all my friends the believers in this world in the world only 40 to 45 percent or lesser time spend time in prayer is much a powerful resource that god has given to each and every one of us and if you are all alone and not alone in your prayer praying and only a very few believers tonight pray to god and find the power and the dunamis in prayer and in this passage tonight in james is giving us four features beloved and friends of a believer's prayer how to find strength when we are down four features of a believer's prayer number one tonight bring bring comfort prayer brings comfort in your going what you're going through tonight a tough time you pray tonight and who who will comfort you god himself will comfort you no more than human words more than friends and families tonight the primary comfort comes from the presence of god beloved james chapter the 5 verse 13 tells us uh, anyone fear for you in trouble any one of you in a storm let him pray tonight and that's uh, that's the pattern tonight uh, God has given to us uh, all through the Bible in Peter it is this way in first Peter chapter 5 uh, verse 7 cast your anxiety on him uh, because he cares for you and one cares uh, for you like no one cares for you like Jesus Christ he cares for you so pray to God Jonah was in deep trouble in the sea he was cast into the sea in Jonah chapter 2 verse 7 he says when my life was abiding yes when my life is ebbing away I remember you Lord and my prayer rose up to your holy temple so he started praying beloved and when he was going through difficult and he looked at Jesus the greatest example Jesus very very every prayer but when it came to the end of his life Jesus know my friends that he is going to die hallelujah he know that the gruesome death of physical suffering and suffering of sin that he took on the cross at Calvary he being go he knew in he knew he knew that is tomorrow and when it come to the end of his life in chapter 17 of John we find the whole chapter beloved about Jesus Christ praying and what did he pray he prayed for strength hallelujah upon himself jesus prayed for himself secondly he prayed for the disciples and thirdly he prayed for all believers in jesus christ yes jesus prayed my friends he found strength and dunamis in his trouble in praying in the garden of gethsemane he went with his disciples and they were very tired they were very tired they had a long day yes they had celebrated the passover and Jesus says why don't you pray with me but they will not pray they were so exhausted and tired but Jesus knowing what is about to happen he went a stone throw away from the disciples he knelt down and in his anguish he cried out to God 
Why? Because my friends, he know when he faces trouble, the only place to go is God's in this in God's presence. Yes, in prayer, he was physically tired. You know, after ministry, the disciples were so tired. Jesus did the ministry. Yes, even it more tired. Do you remember one location? Jesus was preaching on the boat, and after preaching on the boat. He says, let's go over the other side. And when they went on to the other side, Jesus took a cushion and he slept on the boat. Why, my friends, that show the perfect humanness of Jesus, the perfectness. Jesus Christ was tired after a long day ministry and the winds came and the storm came and the waters rose. Yes, it came, my friends, into the boat and they were about to sink and Jesus is fully covered with water and Jesus was still sleeping and he was so tired yes he was so tired and this uh, Jesus my friends being so tired before his crucifixion and arrest he started praying and it tells us uh, one thing my friend the first place uh, is to go when you have a bad report uh, when you go through a trial it say it is the presence of God in prayer yes man, man, hallelujah when you got the report that it is cancerous yes my friends yes you don't share the news to anyone yes you just keep it between yourself and God and it took yes my friends you need to do that keep it between you and God Yes, and God going to support you. Yes, my friends, then hallelujah, praise God, because when you felt, when you felt first place to go is to the presence of God, when you have a need, get it to God. So you have to kneel down back and kneel down and start praying. Lord, do not know what is happening, but Lord, be committed to you. What is your situation? What what is your trial what is your testing you need to know that uh, you need to understand that since uh, you start praying and you have to commit it to God first my friends uh, Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday only the church uh, yes start that people pray yes that people pray in groups uh, that they pray as individual that they pray as a church uh, yes my beloved and friends uh, I know many of you are sick tonight uh, and in the hospital and you need support uh, of the negative thing that is happening in your life. Many of you are discouraged because what you're going through, but the Lord is here to help you. Yes, my friends, so don't be discouraged tonight. If it is cancer, you know that this is that. You know how low you will be, friends, tonight. Whatever sickness you have before you go to anyone, the Bible says anyone is in trouble. First, go, go to to the Lord in prayer and then my friends I'll tell you how to approach it because this is exactly how God led me through this number one trial many trials have been through yes bringing healing brings healing brings healing tonight James chapter 5 verse 14 is anyone among you sick tonight hallelujah the word in Greek has many many meaning one my friends is obviously physical sickness sickness tonight because because my friends of lying lying down in bed because of a diagnosis condition tonight or whether sickness but it also has a meaning tonight of emotional weaknesses that means you're down you're down emotionally you're going to fast through you've been going through a lot of things and now you come to the point that you're so drain, laying down spiritually, we come across situations where we are spiritually down, you know you cannot go to the peak always go through the valley experiences, your faith this week sometimes your faith is strong, but there are times when your faith is weak, I tell you as human beings tonight I pray for so many people I had counseled so many people, pray for so many people, but this time my 
my friends emotional weaker when I become weak in my faith I am human because that's the world that's the world we're living in and there is a way you can handle it when you give it to God my friends and when you are physically weaker emotionally weaker spiritually weaker you know in Romans chapter 14 verse 1 they were weak in faith except who is weak in faith come sometimes you go through weaknesses in your faith first Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 tells us be careful however the existence of your freedom does not become a stumbling block to the weak and talking about spiritual weakness some men spiritually weak some occasions we become weaker and then personally get a big strong personality can get very weak and in 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 verse 21 to my shame Paul says I admit that we too were weak for that about boasting with this mount that the context in the different areas the man who is strong at some areas some areas he will become a victim yes certain areas so we may be weak spiritually but sometimes weak in our faith sometimes beloved weak in our personality sometimes we may be weaker with our sicknesses sometimes so what do we do yes my friends the bible says let them call the elders of the church to pray over them yes beloved so when you're weaker when you're weak man you need Need somebody who is strong you need somebody who is strong and that's why we need prayer hallelujah I have never sent prayer for me yes glory like this never never before in my life yes beloved I start texting when I have problems yes my friends Hallelujah, whoever could pray, pray for me and my family, sought prayer support because I know I'm weak. I need somebody who's strong to pray for me in circumstances, in situations, in trials, in testing. When I need support, it make me strong in the presence of Almighty God and whom you go not just ordinary people, beloved. Let them call the elders of the church who who are these people spiritually strong people you see the qualifications of elder or pastor he said in these days pastor of the church in first timothy chapter 3 and Titus chapter 1 man they are godly people they have devoted themselves to the service of the Lord they are strong spiritually and go to these people for strength and dunamis it will come upon them when they read we need to call people to pray for them draw on the this, this strings James chapter 5 verse 16 tells us the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective friends when I go through my let me I go through the Lord yes uh, the difficult praise of life uh, I don't want to share it with friends uh, I don't want to handle it alone I want to find a righteous man who effectively will pray with me hallelujah and that's so we have to take care of our trials beloved and struggles don't run to a righteous man you will find strength uh, yes in in the presence of God hallelujah my friends this crisis many crises will make you strong and available the God hallelujah praise God through the struggles yes my friends the strength for my church and family friends who are pastors across the globe I need to be available for people at the time they need the most my friends I want to tell you yes my friends hallelujah we need to pray for each other pray for one another prayer will receive 
power and dunamis. Yes, my friends, uh, preaching a good sermon is uh, a primary ministry that our ministry, ministry, yes, that they separate people in Acts chapter 6, uh, verse it tells us, uh, for the distribution of grains. Yes, my friends, you know what the apostle says, we will give our attention first uh, to prayer tonight. Uh, the first primary ministry of a man of God is prayer yes then comes preaching prayer is always first the word of god to anybody among you sick let them call on the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil hallelujah yes why oil tonight my friends why should we pray for you with oil tonight hallelujah that is a symbol you know whenever oil is used in the old testament it is used for consecration separation of persons for the lord our oil is used and jesus disciples Yes, my friend, she gave us uh, the example of using oil and praying in Mark chapter 6, uh, verse 13 tells us uh, they draw out many demons. Uh, men, Jesus, send them to be. Yes, uh, they draw out many demons and anoint many sick uh, people with oil and healing them. And James says, let them call the elders, uh, anoint them with oil and pray for them. Uh, yes, my friends, then the pattern that God has given us uh, is not in the oil but uh, when we use the oil it uh, it consecrates that person uh, yes in it in, in it says uh, in 23 verse 5 you anoint uh, my head with oil that is what he my friends is looking at God and telling us uh, an experience of a shepherd and on what did Jesus shepherd did uh, the sheep uh, will come back to the pen at the night uh, and the shepherd will take his staff and check the sheep if any will go one by one check the sheep for wounds yes he will check for bruises yes of the herd and days he's pastoring maybe that he will go go and caught it in a tickle or in in a torn bush that sheep and evening the shepherd will check the sheep and if he finds any bruises yes my friends he will take out the oil and he will soothe it yes my friends and so that by morning the sheep will find comfort in the night and in the morning it be ready to go sheep will be ready to go back and David is looking at God and he's telling God when I go through my tough times when I go through injuries and pain in my life it is you are your anointing my head with oil and separate me and soothe me lord hallelujah we are telling my friends when we pray for you yes when we pray for you in the name of jesus we pray and anoint them with oil in the name of the lord and that is we are not in the pastor's hands Beloved, it is not in the oil that we use tonight. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing happens, my friends. Amen. Hallelujah. Give us a hand. So what, what happens? The great shepherd, when a man of God takes oil and starts praying for people who are spiritually and physically and financially emotionally weaker or physically weaker, what is happening in our hands become the hands of God Almighty our mouths become the mouths of Jesus we stand in the place of God we are putting oil and praying for people who are in need James chapter 5 verse 15 tells us and a prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well hallelujah prayer offered in faith tonight hallelujah why beloved can I pray when I have this problem I pray then hallelujah why should i ask others to pray you know when we go through a trial my faith 
becomes weaker yes my friends my faith becomes weaker or we think about doubts we come into our mind we think about why why what is happening what is happening i would take it why lord lots of things will come in our minds how much of a strong are we in doubts yes in our tough times of lying james tells us beautiful in a chapter start in a chapter one we see into chapter 6 verse 6 when he asks he must believe and not doubt my friends because he who doubt is like the wave of the sea blowing and tossing with the wind yes my friend 7 tells us the man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord so when you go through the loss and you doubt my friends when even when prayer doubt and I question you question so when you run to the one who are strong my friends in faith tonight will run to the servants of God who are people who are righteous who are having a high time of faith and then when when they pray my friends what happens three things that happens sick sick person will made well hallelujah lord will raise them up yes my friends what is if your emotional weakness you get strength tonight yes my friends you know that the operation was happening they were around 10 to 12 people from the church and they were other in the waiting room other attendants all over i am in attendance for glory yes my friends they were all anxious people will pray for you so worry about what is happening don't worry about it my friends worries because of three because of worries you need to understand tonight stop worrying and start praying and support will come and god will help you as you pray my friends hallelujah thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus stop worrying what happens when we pray in the presence of God? The Bible says, hallelujah, they will rise up <coughs> emotionally. You will rise up physically. You will rise up that support that God has given unto you. Don't isolate tonight. And you look at what's my friends, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You, your sins will be forgiven. Yes, a sin because of intentional sins that has committed. When you go for prayer, my friends, it will be forgiven. Hallelujah. Not when you ask for prayer, my friends. When you do something for prayer, that's a pattern, my friends. And then what happens when you go through a trial and you question? God right you question God God why this happened to me it's a sin my friends we wonder we says Lord after serving you this is what you're giving me I'm not telling you I don't but I'm telling you normally human tendency and that's why James so beautifully talks about the tongue in this passage he talks he's talking to strong Christians and first Corinthians the first century Christians and then in the midst of trials and persecution they are murmuring, they are questioning God, and he's telling them, don't you understand that your tongue is a tongue so powerful, it's like a rudder, yes, control the ship, don't, and when you go to somebody who's strong in faith, and go to somebody who's powerful in prayer your sins are forgiven yes uh, verse 12 tells us uh, five above all my burden he is still talking about the tongue over that we sway by heaven or uh, anything else uh, yes he says and no no he says no you will be condemned no we use of a tongue in our trials it's a sin against god and that's what happened when we seek prayer beloved sin are forgiven by God. Somebody showed and say, say amen. Let's give the Lord a big hand tonight. Let's go to the next step of prayer tonight. Let's 
power of prayer is prayer and fellowship. Pray, my friends, and fellowship. James chapter 5, verse 16 tells us, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray. Pray for each other so that you may be. Hallelujah. Why, my friends, tonight does he say, Therefore, over there, James, James is saying, talking about a believer. He's talking about the believer, Pastor Paul, who is trusting God in deep bit of persecution persecution, trials and sickness and pain. Okay, he is talking about you are in that situation. Rise up tonight and pray to God. Rise up and pray and then go to somebody and pray and you will make me well. By James is on the seeking us. He is rewind, reminding us don't go to all the way before my friends you reach there you pray for one another pray for one another find fellowship in the church so that if you will if this god's will you will be restored even before reaching that place beloved you understand what i'm telling you pray for one another confess your sins you don't have to be exploited about your sins you need to say going through a struggle pray for me that's why we come to the church hallelujah fellowship in prayer tonight so that if my friends it is not god's will you will not end up there yes but if it's god's will tonight like joe my friends that is going through suffering and going through the suffering you will have people who already you are in fellowship with them who will pray for you hallelujah are you getting what i'm telling you tonight so if you come on a sunday morning and sit in a chair and you're, you type and you go back and feel it's a christianity it's a, that's christianity maybe you are having a wonderful personal division devotion and praying but if you want support in time of crisis you need to make time for fellowship hallelujah in the church yes god has given to you my friends and you have the entire church for fellowship why because how it took time to talk hallelujah and build fellowship yes my friends it is very important in the crisis you call for help it will definitely come because you know but if you want a bigger support you need to talk to people find fellowship so that you will have lots of people in prayer and supplication hallelujah for even though you go through the valley of the shadow of debt that's why my friends a church is important that's why yes it's important friends we cannot be successful in a christian life alone we will go through situations where we need the community of believers around us hallelujah prayer my friends is powerful tonight that's a next one prayer is powerful my friends james chapter 5 verse 16 tells us tonight uh, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful with dunamis and effective uh, who is a righteous poor person tonight uh, born of the born again by the blood of Jesus Christ is a powerful person you can pray and you can be powerful and you can be effective in your prayer and I'm here and amen tonight let's give the Lord a big hand that James is giving us an illustration of a man who is that Elijah come to James chapter 5 verse 17 and 18 tells us Elijah was a human being. Why did James give an example of Elijah? Was a common prophet, a top prophet, and people all know about Elijah. Elijah has his ups and downs. Amen. Yes, he had his own ups and downs like us human today. And so it is very easy for us to identify with Elijah because he was a man who sometimes failed, sometimes he gets 
great great exploits uh, from God and his uh, in, in his uh, James is telling us through his example that everyone is powerful when we pray everyone is effective when we pray and look at the example of Elijah Elijah was a human being even as we are he just uh, like us today and he my friends prayed honestly that it did not rain and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years here again he prayed and the heavens give rain on the earth and produce its crops and see Elijah was like us and when it is in host my friend see 17 he was very hungry and came kings 19 he was afraid and then he was tired of battle and then he went into wanted to commit suicide he wanted to die he wanted to run away so he had his own laws in life and most of us every one of us tonight then there is a height in life what is he what he says until i tell you heavens heavens will not produce rain hallelujah and he prayed we know tonight uh, how much about the lie just uh, Elijah prayed and for the 17 it says the passage says he prayed to God and the heavens uh, withdrew yes uh, and there were three yes three years uh, and then this man says Lord that there be rain and rain came again and the fruits uh, it was fruitful and the season my friends uh, and this came into the land uh, into the land and I just prayed he says i just prayed in between he flattered he says i want to die carry this he says drying up in doubts and uncertainty but when he went to the mountain my friends he says lord be he consumed my altar and the fire came down from heaven and consumed his altar he was an ordinary man like us and he can pray and stop the rain bring the rain and bring fire from heaven our prayer which is with passion tonight which is effective will be powerful with dunamis in the presence of god god will answer our prayers my friends god will answer your prayers tonight and i know many are suffering tonight you're suffering physically many are suffering physically and spiritually and socially and materially and financially and educationally and every area of life <coughs> whatever you're suffering with tonight my friends tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for healing tonight is your night for deliverance tonight is your night for victory if you have cancer tonight and the can you have stage four cancer and the cancer eating out your inside tonight i'm here to tell you the man of god is back this sunday night to tell you that you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because god has not finished with you you will not die no matter the report tonight uh, whatever you're suffering tonight with diabetes with AIDS with COVID uh, with a heart problem a liver problem a lungs problem a kidney problem a blood issue a blood dialysis problem prostate cancer if you are blind you're deaf you're dumb you're late tonight uh, tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for healing and deliverance if you're suffering tonight with depression oppression frustration anxiety god gonna set you free from those demons of oppression and obsession and frustration yes my friends if you're suffering tonight with a migraine headache god gonna take away that migraine headache if you have a diabetes and your blood is messed up and you pining away blow bone and skin god gonna restore your health god gonna restore your weight god gonna heal you if you have arthritis pain in your fingers in your hands on your knees in your toes your elbows every joint in your body 
and you're crying out with the pain and nothing is helping you tonight God gonna touch you and heal you if you're demon possessed tonight God gonna set you free from those harassing demons if you have a mental sickness and a nervous breakdown tonight God gonna restore your sanity some mind and a strong and healthy body and he's gonna set you free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus let's give him a big hand tonight wherever you're watching from tonight, beloved. If you're watching from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world, tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing. Tonight is your night for deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, I send for the anointing is very strong here tonight. I know God says we must lay hands on the sick and pray and anoint them with oil, and the elders also. Yes, but God is not limited to that tonight. God is no respect of persons. There is no distance and barriers and limit to the power of God. So tonight I'm going to send for the anointing for those who are watching online tonight. And wherever you are, which country you're in, wherever you are, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, on the street, with your phone, in church, or right here, wherever you are tonight I'm gonna to send for the anointing through the power of the Holy Spirit I see God is working already and if you're feeling the burning it's the work of the Holy Spirit is burning on that cancer that AIDS and that sickness and disease God is giving people new organs yes he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus let us give a big hand tonight healing is the children's prayer tonight and the first covenant he made with man is the covenant of healing and tonight is your night tonight is your night tonight is your night for a miracle tonight is your night for healing and wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus as I said for the anointing right now be healed in the name of Jesus he said free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness it is the power of God it's the dunamis it's the anointing yes I see many are healed from all manner of sicknesses I see cancers disappear from people's bodies people are healed from migraine headache and all sorts of problems and sicknesses and migraine headache yes people with depression oppression frustration has been healed I see demons are leaving left right and center yes it's the power of the Holy Spirit let's give him a hand tonight right to text before me and let me know my friends and beloved what God has done for you yes he's an awesome God many are healed tonight go back to the doctors let them check you you are healed in the name of Jesus God God bless you richly. I love you greatly tonight, beloved. Do have a sweet night dress. I'll see you tomorrow night by the grace of God in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.